This game is a well-made yandere story, or so I thought. Find out what I mean in this video. The twist will shock you. What up, big dog? The game I'm talking about is Love Sam, a psychological indie horror game. If you want to see me play more spooky games, leave a like, subscribe, comment below your recommendation, and come hang out with us live on twitch.tv forward slash andyssg4, where we hang out, vibe, and have an amazing time. All right, I'll let you enjoy the video. Bye-bye. All right, how do you... Yo, Tommy, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. So we're starting. Sir, yes, sir. Holding hands. Holding hands, please. Please hold my hand. Okay. It's a love. Oh, I just adore. Look at that little red heart. Okay. Oh, shit. Damn, we got some big steppers, bro. God damn. Damn, yo. We, yo, this is nice. Damn. Oh, ew. What the fuck? That wet, no. No. Damn, no. And it's our crib, bro. Shit, we paying two thousand dollars of rent for this? Hey, Les. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, what's this? Hold on. There. Okay. You sit down. Nice. My dirty little secret. Ooh. Oh shit, yo. Yo, hello. Wait. Can we open this chat? Can we open it? Yo, what the fuck is this? Oh, yo, my, oh my god, this thing giving me some, like, damn. Okay. You know, the thunderstorm ain't really helping. This thunderstorm ain't really helping, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, we get into the spicy goods, chat. The last human on Earth, sitting alone in a room. There came a knock on the door. Oh, chat, please. Don't, don't get, no. Okay, no knocking, please. Don't there be no freaking knocking. I've never cared for keeping a diary, but now seems to be a good time to start keeping one. Why? Because after all these years, I just can't forget about what used to be the light of my. I know, over dramatic much? Knowing Brian Colmer as much as I did is bound to leave that big chunk of residue. Ooh, shit, Brian Colmer, damn! Yo, he looking kind of fine. Yo, what up, baby? Yo, what's good, Brody? Oh, what, what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Oh, God. Okay. Let's just say this diary is what's left of our relationship. Oh, oh, yo, we hooked up with Brian? Yo, we hooked up with Brian, bro? Three years. No. Three years have passed, and the world around me is still the same. Well, except for me. I look like a mummified corpse. Ew. What would B say if he saw me again? Oh, is it B? B left. Yo, thank you for the Sally. Thank you. Tammy underscore Ratliff underscore Y Welcome underscore in. and just subscribed. B left Rosen Peak the moment he graduated high school to go to a fancy college of his dreams. Since then, I can only rely on my memories of him to keep on going. If it was same for him too. S B. Oh, it's it's it from from Sam, right? Sam B. Oh, Sam and Brian, that's so adorable. Uh, it, Chad, did you did you prank me? And this is actually a love story. Sixty-eight. Oh, did we hit sixty-nine yet? Word. When you love someone, his whole existence just gets etched into your brain. So no matter how much B changes, I will always know it's him. But B do the same for me. I know B liked me a lot too, but. He was not the most likely person to remember stuff. Considering how three long years felt for me, it's possible he did forget about me. Or am I giving him too little credit? But well, here comes the big question. Will he remember me? Oh, yo! Not us playing the OEG. Hello? The fuck? Can I got my, my phone's dead? That's crazy. Where's my charger, bro? My charger. I need to charge my phone. That's crazy, bro. Can I call someone? I need a phone home. I ain't doing this, bro. Oh my god. Will he remember me? I'm gonna say yes. Sure. Uh, okay. Ooh. Who am I kidding? It's B we're talking about. Yeah, it's. Oh my god. Storm. It's B we're talking about. 
We didn't have the most perfect relationship, but he won't just dump his memory of me down the toilet or something. He's too much of a nice guy for that. Don't forget, cute. Ooh, shit, okay, all right. I just hope our time together was meaningful enough to him to make him cherish even the darkest ones. Speaking of cherishable, oh my god. Speaking of cherishable memories, I wonder what happened to Joe's diner. It used to be my favorite place, naturally because it was B's favorite place to begin with. There were two things that were too good for Rose and Peak. It would be Brian and Joe's diner. Five stars. F ten, five out of five. Brian Colmer. Home of the best pancakes in the world by Brian Colmer. Okay. Burger pancake. Joe's diner. Hell yeah. Oh, oh hell no. Things were so much easier back then. He could just go, hey. And I would be like, hey. Nothing but hanging out after that with some occasional visit to Colton Hill. We had such a good thing going. Will he remember my voice? Saying, hey, to me again? Did time already ruin our moment? The fuck? Hello? Hello? Well? Oh. Okay. He just wanted to say hello every time I called him. But what I want to do and can do, two different things, as always. Just enjoying B's presence on the other side of the phone was satisfying too, in a way. I imagine him eagerly waiting to hear something other than my brain. Hey. Wish I could sneak into people's minds. Look behind their eyes just go by staring. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? Yo. Hello? Oh my god. Yo, how do I get out? Hello? Okay, there we go. All right. Yeah, can I put this away? Okay, bet. Don't be fucking up my shit, bro. Uh-huh. Okay, that was absurdly loud. That was way too loud. What the fuck is this? August 21st, 2006. That was a debut outfit? I admire your confidence, Sam. And with that, my whole high school years were probably over. First day of new school when the new girl in town just classified as undesirable by what seems to be the queen of Wayright Academy. I spent last night telling myself, confidence, Sam, confidence. Looks like I should have spent that time picking better clothes. I try not to care too much about ben blending in, but these kids already look at me like I'm candy handed out by strangers. The package seems fine, but you know, there's something fishy in there. Judging from their whispers, I could figure out they didn't know any... I could figure out they didn't know a way right, even accepted transfers. It's been less than 24 hours since I moved to Rosen Peak. I already enjoy sitting alone in my dorm room more than attempt socializing with people who call me a city girl. Well, screw you too, hillbillies. Besides, I decided to force myself into making friends after how my old friends decided to turn on me. I just hope these guys leave me alone at least. Keep being a diary sure can help keep things together in all the chaos. I haven't kept a diary since kindergarten. But this seems like a good time to restart. Kudos to mom for giving me advice. Oh shoot, almost forgot calling her. Write you later, diary. My only true friend. Love, Sam. Okay. Uh, I wish I could see you. Look at me. I was just by staring. If I had that power, I'd never stop looking through. Oh my god, the window open. That's crazy. Hi, Lillian. Will we remember the moment he came to my life? For me, it was as clear as the moment he left. So clear that the downfall of our relationship still cuts deep into our heart. So are we playing as Sam then? No, yeah, because this is Love Sam. I miss you? Oh, I miss you too. That's so sweet. Yo, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. So, so, so this is Sam, right? What is this? Stranger, friend, special someone, then I'll probably maybe broken heart. Yeah, life in Rosen Peak was a jar filled with bittersweet candies. 
not exactly tasteful, but I learned I learned to enjoy it. Nevertheless, it's where my heart lies. Wrote a poem in B's memory. It's a struggle with Miss Le uh, Miss Lasley's poetry practices, even if he didn't have to try that hard. Miss Lasley always told us poetry is not about using fancy words. Let your feelings do all the work. This is how I feel. I stand at his doorstep, heart filled with desire. Rushes down the stairs, heart red like fire. Ooh, okay. Before his spirit can soar, first he must answer door. Knock, knock. What the fuck? Hello? Oh, hell no. I can't, I can't. Chat, please don't make me open the door. Don't make me open the door. Oh. Oh. Okay. Opening the door. Wait. What is that? No, I can't see shit. The heck is that? Hello? I think we're good. Nothing was there. Oh. Stacy is a classic. FYI, she's the one who talked crap about my favorite vintage shirt. It's like she jumped straight out of the cheesy teen drama. Blondie, hot, always talking, and a cheerleader. She even has a beefy jock for a boy. I didn't want to start talking shit about someone already, but how could I resist? Every time I get in Stacy's view triggered an obvious backbite. I'm seriously starting to think she's under a curse that kills her if she stopped talking about someone else. Sadly, coping with her bitchiness wasn't the hardest part of the day. Mom called again. As far as she knows, it's just rainbows and butterflies here in Rose and Peak. Hey, I'm Stacy. I'm pretty. <laughs> I can still remember the complicated face she made when I told her that my application was accepted by, by Wayright. None of us were expecting them to approve a transfer request of an 11th grader. Even if she told me she understands my need to move out of the city, I really feel guilty for leaving her. You already used up your last runaway chance, Sam. Get yourself together. If not for you, for me. The door was closed. The door was closed when we read this book, right? And why does it say, hey? Huh? Other Wayright kids were so predictable. Their doors were already open even before I put my hand on the knob. That face is creepy, by the way. That shit's really creepy. But B's door was closed shut and so beautifully painted. <laughs> Chee Chee! Oh my god. But B's door was closed shut and so beautifully painted. Everyone liked him but couldn't get him to open up. I knew there was something more behind that pretty paint. Something behind his bright smile. But on the other hand, being able to hang out with him was a good enough blessing for me. Enough to make me want to never leave his side. Ever, ever. Ooh, okay. Sam's kind of a... Sam's kind of a... What is that? Yo, what is that? Dude, what is that? What is that? Why is it getting closer? Oh, oh! Oh. I can't move. What? Oh. Okay. Hello? Oh. <laughs> Chad, this ain't fucking funny, bro. I just saw a hand. Hey, mama, let me lift in your ear. Oh, hell no, darling. Oh, hell no, please. My first Rosen Peak weekend. As the name itself gives away, the small town fits perfectly as the setting for a mysterious horror game genre. Hardy har har. Lush forest, endless hills, and a lake that I'm certain is hiding a couple of dead bodies. I could pay a visit one day, 
and take some gorgeous shots. As for now, I'm just going to leave this POI on my to-do list, which is already filled with crazy amount of homework. I know why youngsters of Wayright will try their best to get as well from school as possible after class to escape from choking on the pressure that teachers give them. Even on weekdays, pretty girls like Stacy will have their boyfriends give them a ride and others make use of the power of public transportation to get to the more crowded part of town. It does feel too quiet with no one left in school, but at least I don't feel as lonely as I, as I was in San Diego. At least I don't have to watch everyone I know turn their faces away like I'm some kind of demon spawn. At least I don't have to be reminded how fucked up things can be in a single moment. Moving on won't be easy, but as long as I keep myself busy, it won't be that hard. As for my weekend plan, I'll just improvise in the morning. Write you later. Love, Sam. Okay. Sitting right now. Oh, God. But Sam's kind of... Sam still... Sam gives me that Yandere vibe. Like, hello? He was always pushing his limits. Well, it was more like he was always being pushed, but he was good at it. Okay. That's why he naturally became the best quarterback of the team while maintaining a high grade for a star player. Good for you, bro. Good for you, Brian. He was the last... No. B was the best quarterback Wayright could ask for. Seeing him running all sweaty on the field always triggered something tingly within me. Ooh, -wee. yo, I mean, yeah, yo, he, when he has that man spell, that man smell, mm, that tingly feeling. Mm. <laughs> oh my lord! Something that made me want to catch him behind his back and never let go. Let's be it. This this is giving me a weird vibe. All sorts of feelings and thoughts were pumped restlessly into my brain with every heartbeat. That's a thunderstorm. You need a heartbeat, okay? Give me a bad headache. A good kind of bad headache. Wanted it to stop. Wanted it to never stop. But as soon as B gave me that, hey, all these headaches were washed away. It used to be the best prescription I could ask for. Today, take away the pain and let only good things stay. Hey. Okay. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? I damn. Yo, this is this is a this is this is a really well drawn eye. Oh, when you put this here, yo. Oh, yo. Hello. Oh. Okay. August thirty first, two thousand and six. For a boarding school, they write intellectuals are not that interested in becoming intelligent. I visited the library today and two things surprised me. Number one, the place was much bigger than the one in my old school. Someone could get lost in here. Number two, I had a strong feeling that people rarely visiting... No. I had a strong feeling that people rarely visit the library. Maybe because they feared being lost in there. The place was too clean. Even the books showed little sign of human touch. Now I feel sorry for complaining about Miss Lasley's book assignment. I wonder if Stacy's even thinking about picking a book. With her admiring her boyfriend Kyle's tattoo all day, I doubt she has spare time to do that. Is she depending on Kyle to do the reading for her? Seriously? According to what I saw so far, he's either busy reacting to whatever's coming out of Stacy's mouth or working up some shenanigans with his jock buddy, Ryan, was it? So yeah, right. In the meantime, I should be more concerned about myself than the well-being of the whole school. We too cool for books? Yeah, frick books. Just kidding. I'm not turning around, chat. I'm, I'm too scared. Every time I hear that, I think of the... <laughs> Open those eyes, no need for words. The sweetest love songs those eyes utter. So turn around and sing for me? Oh, hell no, please. Oh, don't turn around. Oh, hello. Hi. Hello? Someone's here. Oh my god. Hello. This way. The stick. What the fuck? Hello? Put it here. K. 
Okay. God, these thunderstorms. Visited the library again. A bit more people than before, and among them was Brian. It's not worth a bother, but seeing a major skank's boyfriend, bud, wandering around in the library is uncanny by anyone's standard. He must have been there to pick the book from Miss Lasley's assignment. I almost got too close to him, trying to see what he was going to pick. I really hope he didn't notice that. I'd rather be known as a regular geek than a creep. I'd rather be known as a regular geek than a creepy one. I can't English, y'all. I can't English. A jock in a library? Now I've seen everything. Woe is me. What? Woe is me. Hate to admit, but seeing Brian at the library was today's only diary-worthy event. Probably because it's the only human interaction that didn't give me the sensation of someone talking behind my back. At least today's entry is a tad more meaningful than what I wrote yesterday. I need to revise my book options now. Write you later, Sam. Oh, my. I miss him. What the fuck? Yo, oh, wait. We got light now? Lights back on. Let's go. I miss him even when I'm with him. I see him even when he's not looking. Hello? What? what? Wait. Can't. Okay. Wait. Wait. The fuck? Okay. Okay. Uh. Okay. Uh, was that it? Oh. See him when he is not looking. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yo, we, what, what we cooking in la cocina, bro? Where my pots at? I mean, I gotta, I gotta do the dishes and everything, man. Hello? It's nothing. Fuck off. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Uh. It here? Oh. <laughs> I'm not a man. Fuck off. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> there. Why is there a bathtub with a curtain? Why can't I open it? Oh no. I don't want to say it in case I spoil it. Oh my god. I don't want to say it. Don't tell me he's in there. Don't tell me that's. What the fuck? Don't tell me that it's Brian. I'm behind the curtain. Oh shit, if it's you, then come out. Come out. Come out. It's okay. What the fuck? Nasty ass shower. <laughs> okay, so the note came down here. Hello? Thing. Oh wait. Wait a minute. If if this if this fell down here, I can't reach probably because I got short ass hands. Yo, what's up, Gabby? Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Okay. Uh can we use this? Can we use this thing? Let me go ahead and grab that note. Ooh, I'm such a genius. Ooh, I'm such a genius. Let's go. Oh, yeah, got that note. It was Mr. Kane's ninth psychology class, and he still managed to come up with another lame activity. This time, he gave each of us a sheet and made us write down some of our personal traits. For the next 10 cringy minutes, I managed to squeeze out some of the aspects of myself that I could hate less. After that, Mr. Kane told us to think about whether or not others were to each of them. 
he called it re-engaging the perspective toward uh, oneself blah blah wow like i really needed to reevaluate my stupid self but it's not the dumb subconscious exercise that's bugging me right now. Hi, Thunder. Uh, when the papers were being passed around, Brian, yup, him again, kind of smiled at me. It's 11 p.m. now. Why am I writing about this? It's most likely an accidental glance. But I still don't know why the very image hovered in my head for the rest of the class. Okay, the rest of the day. Stupid brain probably wanted an excuse for screwing up today's math test. Get out of my brain. Oh, not you rejecting Brian's love. Yo, what if Brian was trying to make a move? You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Oh, you was in there. In there. Oh, you was in there. Oh, back the fuck up. Back the. Well, you know what? We have lights now. I think we'll be okay. Oh, I think we'll be okay. You know, the game ain't too bad. You know, when, when the lights is on. <sighs> oh my God. Uh, <laughs> please. Bro. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, uh, no, I need to put a timer on that so loud that's what i'm saying that shit scares me every time as the time we spent together grew longer one question kept on growling with it what does the me b's eyes look like does he see me as i see him does he see me as i see myself does he see me as i want him to i screamed in agony but there was nobody to even hear it well others think that i do not over I would never will others think that I would never lie to my friends never use others for my personal gain others think that betray anyone close to me act on impulse it's a bill that's the right hand we supposed to write truthfully I do not overthink I overthink I would never lie to my friends I would never lie to my friend. Will others think that I would never lie to my friends? Okay, wait, I'm confused. Hold on. Will others think, so referring to them, will they think that I would never lie to my friends? Okay, hello? Come on now. Will others think that I would never lie to my friend? I would never lie to my friends, so I would say yes, right? Let's put let's put a pin on this. Wait, hold on. I would never use others for personal gains. Yes, I would never. So, okay, stop with the lights. No, I would not. Right? Others think that I would never. Yeah, others think that I never use others for personal gain. We hit yes, right? Won't betray any. Will others think that I won't betray? Close to me. Yes. Others think that I never act on impulse. Yes. Others think that I don't want away from my responsibilities. Yes. Okay. What? What? What's happening? It's happening. I have fucking. Hello? Uh, uh, no. What the hell? Oh, look at that. Another note. September 11th, 2006. I was returning some of the books I checked out when he came out of nowhere. Hey, worth reading? I never thought the voice at me. My heart was somehow already skipping a beat. And had to tap me on the shoulder to get my complete attention. Sam, right? Saw you going in and out the library. Sam with a buttery voice. Not like I've been stalking you or anything. I come here from time to time to get the stupid assignment out the way so I can focus on my games. He said he couldn't find anything interesting to read, and since all he could think of were comics, he would use some guidance. My mind was still jumbled up from the ambush. All I remember saying is, how about misery? Stephen King's works are good enough to get you started. Puta madre, man. Winter, <laughs> please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, I don't recall how the rest of the 
conversation went, but I'm certain he said, see you later at some point. I said, yeah, see ya. Misery. Feel nice, Sam. If Brian didn't know you were a weirdo, he does now. Okay. What I did, I did for B. All of them. Because I loved him. Why couldn't he just understand that? Others were nothing but poison. I was the one who truly cared. B didn't even appreciate the things I've done for him. I never wanted a drama. I wanted a poemish life. A tender high. Tender, subtle love story written only for his eyes. It's totally fine if no one else gets it. Sam just wants love. Sam just wants love, bro. B was always welcome in my world. I gave him the key to it. If he lost it, he could always come back to our world to find it. And I think it's a good time to come back now. Let's go back to our small world. I placed my heart at everywhere you loved. Let's go back. Okay, looks like we gotta get up now. Oh, well, hold on. We saw one here. Here we go. Oh, nice. So this is a sticker. Drop it here. Okay. Boot this. Hello? Sam, we're the same. Hello? Okay. Ali. I mean, oh boy. And for heart. We're looking for a heart chat. Heart, see, heart, see, heart. Oh, oh. In here? Okay. Any hearts? Any hearts? Any hearts in the chat? Any hearts? Uh, darling, unfortunately, I don't think I can grab that one. <laughs> How about in here? Huh? I'm not gonna go to you. Fuck you. It's locked. Bathroom. Yeah. Where the hell is his heart? I've looked. The fuck. Oh my god, the door closes again. <sighs> right here, Andy, in my chest. <laughs> Why are you smooth with it? Okay, uh, let me see. Can I grab this one? Oh. Well, let's go back. Okay. Can't go back. Trying. I only have one. Oh. But I know he's not coming back. I'll never hear that ever again never know what's behind his door locked tight with smile that's a key but i gave him my key and b did it okay good night night teach good night teach thank you b oh, we're gonna be stuck there this does it open this yeah it's locked oh there we go nice we got the rest of our hearts let's go hell yeah September 16th, 2006. Thank you, B. Turns out the lake does have a history of having a dead body in it. I know this because I visited there. I visited there because Brian took me there. It all happened so fast. I was outside the yard reading when Brian appeared out of nowhere again. He said, hey, and started telling me how he actually enjoyed the book and how he would never read the same book twice in his life. No way. And since he was heading out, he offered me to give him a tour of the town. Ten minutes later, we were passing Joe's Diner, home of the world-famous pancakes, says Brian. There is also an arcade across the diner. Brian hates the place because it's teeming with ten-year-olds. The donut shop was Brian's must-go-to place, too. Unlike the music store, which, according to him, seriously needs to restock. I found my own POI, a bookstore. It was a weird seeing a bookstore and a gym standing side by side though. At the end of the tour, I finally got to taste that sweet pancake Brian worshipped. Out the window, I could see the weird gigantic hill that was so visible from my dorm. Brian revealed that it's a secret base of some kind. Few people actually visit Colton Hill. 
He jokingly said he could take me there when I'm cool. Okay. After dinner, Brian dropped me off at the bus station and drove off to meet up with his friends. I was exhausted, but he hyped up beyond my limit. I can't sleep. How can I when I have the whole day? Just feels like a Brian. Ooh, Brian. Oh my. All right. So okay. Uh, so Brian likes three things, which makes us like three things. So he likes Joe's Diner. Uh, he likes the arcade. And he would also like Cotton Hill. Broken memories, broken heart, broken neck. Crack. Oh. Oh. What the fuck? What is going on? Oh. Okay. Just woke up. What? Oh my god. Okay, uh... Okay, let's see. Uh, it's three of his favorite things. Oh, the donut shop. Okay, so donut shop. Let's see. Uh, uh, oh, hold on, I'm reading this. Uh, Joe's Diner. He likes Joe's Diner. Brian hate. Oh, wait. Oh, Brian hates the place because it's teamed with 10 year olds. Okay. 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 So the arcade was not it. That was it. Broke like a twig. Okay. Well, you never know. You're not you when you're hungry. You have them with Snickers. Oh, God. Okay. So Joe's Diner, right? He likes the donut shop. Okay. And um, he hates the arcade. Uh, what would be the last one? I finally got a taste of sweet pancake where out, out the window I could see a gigantic hill that was visible. Brian revealed that it's a secret base of some kind. There's a few people actually visited Cotton Hill. He's joking, say. Okay, he mentioned Cotton Hill. I would believe so if it's a secret hideout. Come on. Let's go! Okay. I miss Morning Dew Bakery. B never shut up about its donuts. So tasty. They did taste sweet, just like Bee's heart. <laughs> Each bite was another memory to savor. Oh my. But just like a donut, it had an expiration date. It turned cold and bitter. I miss its warmth. I miss its sweetness. I need to eat it up. Oh, fuck. Why can't I move the page? I need, I miss its warmth. Okay, warmth. Clue here is warmth. A red marker. Okay, cool. Wait, it was highlighted in red. Do I need it? No? Okay. Oh, kitchen. Warm. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's the donut. There you go. Close that bad bitch. Uh, can we put it in the oven? Nope. Okay, could we'll put it in the oh no, okay. Microwave that bitch. There we go. Put that shit in there. Oh hell yeah. We cooking up some donuts, chat. How what kind of cooking with Andy? Where you know we here out here cooking some donuts. What the fuck? Bro, bro. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. I skim read the note here. Okay. How your diaper doing? Um, it's okay. It's got a little bit of piss in here. Go ahead and sit down and reread that note. I'm saying. Okay. September 25th, 2006. Columns just obliterated the hand pets today. I know now why they say Brian and Kyle are more than buds. I would have called them an awesome duo too if only Kyle wasn't an asshole of a douche. I mean, the guy has his name tattooed on his arm. Call me old fashioned, but I think he should just go to the hospital and get that ego checked out because it must be swollen huge. Damn, y'all's a big ass rose. God damn. <laughs> Your ego so big, you gotta get shit checked out at the hospital. Oh! Oh! He said, Your ego too big. Oh, it's funny as hell. 
At least he leaves me alone other than giving me that creepy stare when I pass by. I understand how Stacy can keep hanging out with him, but Brian? They do say we sometimes become friends with those who are the opposite ends, but maybe it's not such a weird thing. For me, the real win was the photos I took of Brian. Watch out for Sam Holt, the rising teenage stalker. Uh, that's kind of weird, Sam. Bringing the Polaroid camera I bought years ago during my camera geek phase seems like a good idea now. Oh, hell no. Not a camera. <sighs> I know I promised myself to stay away from people, stay away from the drama. But when I look at Brian, when I look at Brian, when he talks to me, it feels like maybe, just maybe it's okay to have a little drama for myself. I'm not ready to define what this feeling is, but for now, the label as looking for a shoulder to cry on and just shove it under my bed just like the pictures I took today. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, okay. I hated it. Oh, God. Hello, thunderstorm. I hated every moment I was not with B. I was helpless. Every day I wanted to call him just so we could chat, but I was afraid of what Brian would think of it. It could even hurt his reputation. When I when I finally worked up the nerve to call, all I could do was to was listen to him say, "Hello." That was as far as our late night phone call chit chat could go. I hung up, wondering if he knew who was on the other end. Of oh, at, wait. Well, we were receiving phone calls, and we don't get. Are we Brian? Wait, because we because get phone calls and no one talks hello i remember the strong burning sensation that came every time i called him that red fiery sensation red so fuck red and everywhere okay finish what you finish what i still oh hello what the barnacles what the fuck shiny <laughs> what do you want me to do about this fuck what do you want me to do oh ariel 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 thank you so much for the follow welcome in hope you enjoy your stay at the jazz match Finish what you started. Wait, am I supposed to use this? Am I supposed to? Uh, okay. Writing this now. Oh, oh, yo, damn. Okay. Focus, Andy. You got. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. Right? <laughs> oh. What the f was that? What the f Oh, oh, hello, hello, okay. Turn the light on. What's in here, bro? Open the freaking light. I'm still surprised I don't see a reflection on it, bro. I see a pen, but I don't see me. What, what, where the, oh, no. <laughs> Oh my god, what is this? Okay. Uh, I want to finish this one. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. What the fuck was that? Oh, hello. Hi. Okay. Hey, who 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 did this? Why can't I close it? Why can't I close it, huh? Are we done? Is this the end of the mini game now? No? What's left then? Oh. This one. Okay. Okay. I can't close the window either. Okay. I'm getting my shit wet. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up. Okay. All right, don't worry. It's all good. It's all good. I just got to look at it real nice. Get good. I got a good aim like Valorant. Okay. 
Yo, what the hell? What is that? What is that? <laughs> oh my god! What the f <laughs> Oh f me, dude. What the f is this? Uh where are we? Hello? That's a wall. Okay. I guess we're walking here now. No, okay. I guess we're walking here now. Okay. I guess we're walking here. Okay, I I'm gonna go here because there's some light. Okay. What's happening? Okay, note. What? You meet me at Cotton Hill, you know where to find me, Brian? Okay. Find me, bro. Hello? What the f was that? Hello? Who is this? Oh my god. Hello? Wait, what are y'all. I, I, don't be. Don't be down. Hello? What are y'all being down bad for? Please hold my. I'm scared right now. I'm not gonna lie, the diaper is a little bit full. There's too much going on right now. I closed the window, right? Okay. Con Hill. You the hell was that? Why is she doing all this? Wow, I don't know. Oh. September 28th, 2006. Due date for Miss Lassie's book report is right around the corner. And I'm still not finished. Only if I wasn't too disturbed. Normally I wouldn't bother reading a teen romance story. But for some reason I thought, hey, why not? Hardy har har. The premise of Mingled itself is pretty generic. Jenny has a huge crush on her childhood friend, Michael, but she can't get Michael to think of her as more than just friends. She reaches a conclusion that it's just because of all those girls around him. So she starts making a list of all the basic girls who also have a crush on Michael. What she plans, what she's planning to do with the list is yet to be revealed. If I can finish reading the book by tomorrow, I'll be able to finish the report with enough time for a re revise. P.S. I wonder how Brian is doing with his assignments. Why am I interested? Because he's been asking for my help with some of the works and I gladly agreed to. Why would I do that? Because by helping Brian focus on his practices, so can he bring trophies to our beloved school. It's safe, it's safe to say I'm part of the bigger cause. Not like I'm doing this for my personal reasons. It's not like I like you or anything, Brian. It's not like I, it's not like I wanna like, you know, Take care of you or anything, Brian. Don't, Brian. It's not like I'm just doing this because I want you, okay, Brian? God, God, Brian. <laughs> what? It's not like I like you, right? Don't take it personal. I'm just doing it because I like it, okay? I like doing homework. Yeah. Yeah. What you gonna do about it, Brian? Mhm. Mm yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Thund <laughs> thunder, thunder, please. I'm sorry. Suddenly, my name is Brian. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Come on. Oh, God. Okay. Here we go. What the fuck are you? I wanted to read Brian like a book into his beautiful. Oh, hell no. Fill it with the desires I had to secretly incubate. Ooh. Oh, shit. Desires of whispering words like, don't leave me. Don't go away. Don't smile for others. Oh, where I freaking yonder ray. Oh my god. Please don't look. Oh, oh, hello? Hello? Okay. Don't look away. Don't look away. Oh, what? what's, what's going on? What? What? No, 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 Hello? The fuck? Hello? <laughs> oh my god. Fuck this game chat. Fuck this game. Oh my god. The barnacles! The barnacles! The barnacles, man!
I'm crying, bro. Fuck this, man. You don't even pay rent? Oh, hell no. She coming into my house and not pay rent? Oh, my God. You enjoying this, Andy? Fuck no. Oh, hell no. Get me the fuck out right now. Hmm. Why is she moving like that? I don't know, bro. She probably got something wrong with her. Oh, my God. Anywho. October 4th, 2006. Stacy invited everyone to the late post victory party at her place this Friday. Weird that she told me this at the half at the hallway herself. Sudden act of courtesy was enough to leave me frozen. But to think of it, a self-conscious beauty queen like Stacy would love showing off how taller of tolerant she could be. I prefer celebrating quietly in my room. But since the party is practically being held for Brian, I thought it would be sort of rude of me not to be there. He was nothing but nice to me since I met him, so the least I could do was show up. Plus, I could probably witness the face Stacy makes when she sees I actually had the nerve to show up. Maybe, just maybe, I could even piss her off if I managed to strike a conversation with Brian. And Omega hanging out with an alpha? Kyle would be busy comforting Stacy, fuming about how I messed up her ecosystem. No peer pressure, Sam. Just clean drinks and hopefully some casual talk with Brian. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, brother. We're going to a party chat. It's party, party time. Started to think the only way to get B's attention was to throw myself off Col Colton Hill. What the fuck? Jason, can you eat my toes? Shiny, I'm gonna need you to stop. <laughs> Hello? Ready to get it together, sweetie? We got a deep in the hunt. Okay, darling. I guess we got we gotta we gotta do some exorcism. Santo Jesus, por favor, que me protege esta noche, porque si no te lo voy a agarrar a puta madre a ese dios del demonio, a ese muchacha que no paga renta ni nada de ese mierda. Okay, no quiero aguantar esto ahorita mismo. Oh, yeah, Dios. Uh, who jumping with me? Oh hell yeah, we we jumping this bitch who doesn't pay rent for sure. How did I come so low? All right, don't put the cyberpunk. All I wanted was a chance to show how I feel about B without any noise getting in the way. I st still could have had some peace with Brian despite all this shit I had to deal with. Brian was super likable. Everyone liked everything about him. They couldn't stop smiling when Brian started talking. The smiles they gave him made me want to puke. They smile as if their relationships with Brian mean much more than I, the one I have with B. And yet I was the only one left with a broken heart when he left Rosen Peak. B was so determined about leaving that being a star player wasn't enough for him. B needed to be a fucking model student. Nothing says pick me to a college admission like a spotless student record. Brian, oh bro, please. Oh my god. God damn it, B, of course you clipped that. What the fuck is that? You can't just shake up my whole world and leave? Okay, what's shaking? What's shaking, y'all? Oh, okay. I'm gonna need y'all to stop. Can you? What the fuck is this? Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay. I'm gonna pull you out now. Pull you out. I'm gonna pull you out, motherfucker. Get out. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Okay, there's notes here. Suicide suspected in death of missing teenager. The girl of 17 who was found dead at Colton Hill likely entered her own life. Police says Sam Holt, a transfer student of Wayright Academy, had been reported missing for six days until Rosen Peak authorities discovered her body in the forest. Due to days of heavy rain around the time of her death, the investigation of Miss Holt's death faced a few challenges. However, interviews with school faculty members and its students led to the possibility that she threw herself off the cliff of Cotton Hill after months of rejection from her peers. She was rarely seen with others, says one of the former teachers. She was even publicly humiliated. She was even publicly humi humiliated. Ah, uh, big word. Just before her disappearance, it must have worked as the tipping point for her. Rosen Peak police says the fall did not kill Sam instantly. It is possible she gasped for air through her broken neck before dying. Ew. Wayright Academy now faces a suspension of neglecting its students led by the mother of. What the fuck? So Sam's dead? So Sam dead. So Sam died. 
So then who are we? If Sam's dead, is the ghost Sam? Is the ghost Sam? Who are we? Are we, are we, who, who are we? The fuck? October 7th, 2006. Oh man, everything's gone wrong. All my senses are screaming in pain. I don't even remember drinking any booze. The pain only escalated the moment Brian, Brian texted me. You feeling okay? No, I was not okay. And why is Brian asking me this? Did I do something to him? According to Brian, I went from being quiet to crazy, happy, and cute. His words, not mine. Real quick, I was so close to being the center of the party that he had to bring me back to the dorm. Why can't I remember any of them? Congrats, Sam. You just reached a new low in life. Shit, is this it? Is this how I die? I sincerely asked Brian if there was a good place to kill myself. Oh, no. He said maybe now is a good time to show you my secret hideout. Since I passed the test by showing the whole school a different me. Is he seriously going to take me to his Cotton Hill hideout? Tomorrow, I'm going to the so-called most romantic place in Rosen Peak with Brian. Something in my head that's keeping me awake. It's not hangover. It, what the fuck? Hello? Hello? Hi. Oh. Oh, hi. Hello. No problem. Did Brian kill it? That, that, that's what I'm thinking. What the fuck? Yes, hello. I'm coming in. Okay, I'm looking through the peephole now. Oh, shit. What is that? Oh, that's a door. That's a door. Okay. Fuck. Where am I? Back at the forest? Okay. I'm in the trees. Hello. Hi, trees. It scared me. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna I'm walk this way now. Wait. What the hell? Wait, is that, is that Sam? She's gone. What the fuck? Where's Sam? Is this her? Okay. Uh. Oh, no! What the fuck? Was that Brian? What the fuck? Oh fuck, did Brian, was Brian the fucking one? Yeah, cause Brian left Sam the note. Give me that cotton hill, you know where to find me. The fuck? Oh, now I gotta think. The jump scare didn't make me flinch, but a fucking light made me jump. <laughs> October 8th, 2006. Oh my god, Brian actually took me to Cotton Hill. The hideout Brian mentioned had a wonderful view of the small town. The whole place under the golden sunset. The best part of this spot was that it is quite hidden and unsafe. You could easily roll down the hill if you are careless or drunk. No one can find you for days. How awesome is that? How awesome is that? Wow. Being drunk with that wonderful moment didn't cause any accident, though. I sat there for less than an hour, but it felt like an eternity. I can't even remember what we talked about. I do remember saying how beautiful Rose and Peak is, and Brian being all meh about it. I guess you can get fed up with views like this, too. Today's only regret is that I failed to bring the true essence of the hill's view back with me. There's a reason why I gave up photography as a hobby in the first place. At least the close-up shot of Brian was not half as bad. When I came back down from the hill, it became clear that my life became just a... When I came back down from the hill, it became clear that my life just became a bit more messed up now. I know because I really want to talk to Brian again soon. Help me get to sleep quickly today, diary. Love, Sam. Oh, what is this? Brian's secret hideout, a closed Colton Hill hiking route discovered by himself so he can hide from the world around him. Not a flashy place, but it had a great view. All the life's problems. Found the drink. Unhill on Sanctuary. 
I wish it could be our special place. Ours and ours only. Cotton Hill is nothing but a rock pile of blood-soaked memories now. Why did he have to break my fucking heart? Was I just one of his many friends? Maybe that's it. That's why he wanted to leave even after I told him we won't be together anymore. He thought he was too good for Rose and Peak and me. To him, I was just a background in his picture. Background in his picture. The fuck? What? Where was that coming from? I think I heard it here, right? Hello? You don't deserve a face. Oh, a note. Okay. The book report was finished days ago, but I can't stop thinking about Mingled. No! What the fuck? Psycho. Okay. Oh! Oh, hello! Oh, hello! Okay. Hello? The fuck? What the hell was that? Okay. Okay, C can I get out now? Oh! Oh! Oh, hello! Hi! Okay! Okay, that's- that's not nice. That's not nice. Is it- it- Why can't I open the door? Wait, what was that? There's a lot of pictures here. Hey. Wait, that's coming from... Oh, there it is right here. Okay. Whoa, here we go, lights. Hey, okay. So the camera was in the bathtub. Polaroid. Oh, haha. Ha. That's where I keep all my pictures and shit. Let's go. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. To summarize the rest of the book... Wait, no. Let me finish it again. The book report was finished days ago, but I can't stop thinking about Mingled, mostly because my stupid brain thinks I'm sort of like the main character, Jenny. To summarize the rest of the book, Jenny goes on this jealously fueled sabotage rampage on every girl who has a crush on Michael. I know it sounds horrible without context, but it's actually kind of cute. What the hell? Yo, okay, this is a Yandere vibe for real. That game is scary? I know, Chunky Panda, it is scary. Who the hell is Michael? Uh, so, so Michael is, um, so it, it's about the book report, not Michael Jackson, not the hee hee guy. Okay. Michael Myers, not that guy either. Fuck that. Uh, it, it's the book. It's the book that, uh, this, um, I think it, Sam's reading. I think so. Uh, she finally stands on top, but Michael finds out what she's done. He breaks Jenny's heart saying he can't be sure of who she is anymore. Things work out in the end, but that's not why I sympathize with, with the dark psycho girl. Ryan is just like Michael, popular, has killer biceps, busy hanging out with people. I can't see what he wants because of all the noise around him. I know he wants to go to college, but what about beyond the boring stuff? What kind of person does he like? What does he think about? Told me about his mom. How she died of cancer last year. Oh. Must have been so hard trying to look up, to look okay in front of everyone who's depending on him. I sometimes feel like he can't see me because he's just so busy trying to meet everyone's expectations. I know how those around us can be hurtful and it's dangerous to rely on them so much. I just wish I can tell Brian one day that I'm here for him. Hope you hope you get a picture. Do I? Oh, okay. Hello. Oh, hi. Oh, it's dark. Why is it dark? Okay. Okay, nobody come after me now. Got my shit on flash, but I'll be paralyzed. Don't fuck with me. Brian got what he wanted in the end. He left Rosen Peak as soon as he was given the chance. Damn, so Brian's gone. So Brian's gone. Oh, and then, then who are we? I don't know. As for me, I was left to suffocate in the hole of tainted memories until I drown in my own endless nightmare. Don't leave. Oh, that's a cursed image. Every day, every night, I'm surrounded by whispers. Whispers that lie. Whispers that eat away my brain piece by piece, no matter how I try to. Ugh, oh God. Again? No. Oh God. 
my phone's open are you in a healthy relationship take this quick survey to find out uh yes one must take as much as one gives no obsession is a stronger form of love no no one can have what you can't uh no be never loved you no because you are a selfish little shit all your problems are caused by you it's all your fault not my fault oh hello oh okay oh your survey results yay uh lies are you in denial are you regretting okay or maybe you forgot who you are hey someone's calling you ring ring it's you uh okay hello <laughs> hello hello okay Okay now. Oh god, I hear them again. It's getting worse. The fucking shithole town with the disgusting crack on my heart. It's getting bigger and bigger. The voices I hear from the crack are getting louder. I see more and more eyes staring at me through the gap. The fuck? Okay. Hello? Whoa, Vinxy! Thanks, VIVT just subscribed. Happy Subathon. Thank heart. you, bro. Smiling you face with hearts. You, man. What the hell is this, bro? We're playing. We're playing Love Sam. I don't know what's going on here. It's a crack. Okay. Hey, I, you know what? At least you know this is. This is nice. I like when it's light. I like when there's light here. This is. This is nice. I like this. Okay, nothing here. Nothing here? No. Oh, wait, there's a note. Here we go. Alright, let's read this note. Oh, thank you for the head pads, by the way. Oh, how you doing, Panda? Welcome in. We've been trying to contact you. What the barnacles? Please. <laughs> oh, Lord. October 13th, 2006, Miss Lasley gave us an easy poetry assignment for once. She said it's okay to make a parody of the classics as long as we stick to the ABCB pattern. So I took the liberty of letting my imagination go. ABC berserk. Oh, okay. Okay, I see you. Here's a slight taste of my early work. Okay, we're gonna get bars. Let's go. Here we go. Roses are red. Hey, violets are blue. Yeah. My life would have sucked, ooh, if it wasn't for you. Okay. Call me Sam Spear, or is it Holt Spear? Hardy har har har. Two pandas, five uh, pandas, yeah. Vin is going to be, bye Vin, zero bars, yeah, hey, no bars, yeah. Little Vinny type beat, little Vinny type beat, hey, little Vinny type beat, hey. That's, I, I, I don't think this is your vibe. Hello? I could have waited for Brian to ask for my help with homework again, but I decided to make the first move this time, and guess what? He said he can handle it all alone. Call me paranoid, but I'm worried I might have hurt Brian's pride. That's what happens when Sam opens her idiot mouth or uses her idiot brain. P.S. I've decided to carry my diary in my bag. The doors in the girls' dorm are way too easy to open. Not as easy as Stacy though, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh shit, Stacy getting roasted. Ha ha. I even saw one of the girls use a notepad to crack her door open. Besides, I have this weird hunch someone's been reading my diary. I decided to not ignore this hunch. Oh shit. Okay. That's okay. Oh god, this shit. When it said your rapper name, Big Dog? Yeah, I'm Big Dog, Big Dog. Go forward, Big Dog. When I ran out of places to run, I had only one solution. Now my memories are scattered all over the dark. Now I must look for them. Oh, okay. Take pictures now. 
Lovely. Okay. Um. I inside your gate. What? Where is it? I outside your gaze? What the fuck is it? Oh, what the fuck was that? Hello? Keep me forever warm. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, not us stalking him. Inside your gaze. Oh, what the fuck was that? I indulge your gaze. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I cherish your smile. Hey, yo, Brian kind of look kind of. Yo, Brian kind of. Yo, why does Brian. <laughs> Yo, Brian, <laughs> Brian, it was good, Brody. That <laughs> was good. Yo, you know, me and Brian, you know, we, we chill. We, 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 you know, we hang out back there, you know what I'm saying? At Colton Hill, you know what I'm saying, bro? Me and Brian. And, man. <laughs> Why? That, listen, bro, me and Brian go way back. And also, thank you, Hikaru, for continuing your sub. I do appreciate you, Brody. Oh, you've been doing well. I miss you. Yeah, I play again sometime, bro. I'm about to get back my 40 sub bag. Hello, rags. <laughs> You're done. Golly, I can't have fun. I can't have fun with this game, bro. Turn the light on. Turn the light on. Coward. What do you mean, coward? I'm taking a picture, bro. Oh, here. Wait. What the fuck? Okay. All right. That's fucked up. Fuck you. Okay, fuck you, bro. Be my endless sunrays. Okay. Oh, that's four pictures. Okay. All right, let's see what we're working with. All right. Um, I, ch okay, A, B, C, A, hold on, A, B, C, B, right? Cherish your smile. A, B, C, B. Cherish, wait, hold on, let me see, wait. I be, like, be my endless sun rays, I indulge in your gaze, keep me forever warm, I cherish your smile. A, B, C, B. Okay. I cherish your smile, I indulge your gaze, keep me forever warm, be my endless sun rays. Bars, let's go. All right, say less. I got bars, let's go. CD. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> oh, this is Chat's nightmare coming true. Hello to the doghouse. Oh, my lord. Good job, man. I know. I'm so smart. I'm so fucking smart. Let's go. I be hard, hard. <laughs> Darling, you're so smart. You use the whole alphabet to get it. I get you. I get you. October 20th, 2006. With Brian prepping for a rematch with the Hammerheads. I once again gladly gave him a hand with the non-important homework stuff. I must say, the teachers here don't give their poor students a break just because a test is over. It's not like I'm burdening him with helping out, but Brian is really trying hard to get good grades. From what I heard, he doesn't have much to worry about going to college since he's practically a local football star. Maybe his pushy police chief dad raised him to be an overachiever. You know what? Maybe that'll do it. I'll do it. It's funny how a model athlete like Brian got friends like Kyle who always finds excuses to pull him out of school. It's unfair, really. As long as you are a sports star, you'll end up with douches like him no matter how nice of a person you are. Damn. I don't speak with Kyle much, but I don't need to talk to know what he's like. First of all, his girlfriend is freaking Stacy Lannings. Ew. Who the hell is Stacy? The world may never know. I forgot who Stacy was. Uh, shit. Who's Stacy again? Who is Stacy? Hello? The stare he gives me when I pass by is enough to creep me out for the whole day. It would be lucky if Stacy didn't come along and start yapping about how Brian is out of my league. She has Kyle to play with, so why would she even care? Like, ask your boyfriend out for a drive. Jeez. Have a nice life with him so Brian can stay out of the poison he does not deserve. Okay. Stacy, one of them. Oh, that's right. Stacy is one of the mean girls. Okay, so like. So Stacy's like the. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So Kyle hangs out with Brian. And, and Kyle's a dude bag. Okay, understandable. All right. 
Oh, hello? Hello? Who's this? Okay. All right. Come out. Oh, that's... Bro. Oh, f that, man. That shit's so fucking cursed. Okay, that's right. I'm... I'm uh, that, this is nice. I, I like light. I like light. I like this light. The fuck are we peeping through? Uh, hello? Who the hell is that? Who is in my room? Who is this? Oh, who is that? Hello? Oh, bitch. Oh, back up. Oh, f off. Who the hell is in my house? Okay, hello? Hello? She's friendly. Oh hell no, Hikaru. <laughs> hell no. She's she's in my house with this rent money going high, bro. She better be paying again here. The fuck was that? I wake up without waking up. Same rainy night. My lifeless room. Endless nightmare. Okay. Hello. Ew. What is this? Ew. Okay. I don't like that. Hey, come on. Oh my god, bro. Bro, my phone bill's gonna go up now because of this shit. Oh, what is that noise? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. What is that noise? What is that noise coming from? Fuck. check on you <laughs> i wish it was like that oh my god greenheart university discover your potential with our early admission program we are waiting for any hard working and career individuals apply now that's it cool the fuck are you smiling at smiling he's smiling not me i ain't doing shit what are you i don't know Can you look at it again? It's here. I ain't smiling. I'm scared. I'm terrified, bro. What's that? Okay. I'm applying. Go ahead, shiny. Go ahead. Get you full, full, full ride. Full ride. Okay. So it's torn off right now. What the <laughs> hell? Oh, 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 okay, okay, hi, hi, okay, all right, you're, you're getting a little too close now. You're getting a little too close. Oh, oh, oh. oh the fuck? That was your pants ripping. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> okay, fuck you. Yeah, uh, you got some stinky ass bro. Have you ever heard of that that Listerine shit, bro? Okay, I'm um, Jew. Okay. Then, where is this? Where is this now? Where, where are we going? Okay. This doesn't help, yo. <laughs> Where am I? Hello? Hello? What is this? The fuck? This is for B. Don't pussy out. Push, push the shutter. Push, don't pussy out. Push, push the shutter. Do it. Fuck 
fucking trash. Okay. Fuck. There's a note. I think there's a note there. Okay. Uh, can I open it? Do I, have to, do I need to take a picture of this? No. Okay. You did it? Oh hell yeah! Let's go. You, you belong here? Is that what it said? Yeah. What the hell is this? Okay. Oh, it's a spray. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. Okay. Hi. No. What? Hey. Okay. Give me the note back. I want the note. I don't need that note. Should be oh, fuck. Okay, let me just get this. What? Okay, they're they're coming. They're coming behind me. They're, they're coming behind me, Chad. Okay, let me. Come on now. Come on, Chad. Come on. Okay, last one. Last one. Come on. Where is it? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Fuck is going on? Oh hell no! I gotta make my bed. There's trash everywhere. What the fuck happened here? Fuck. Who messy is? What? That's what I'm saying. I'm back. What did I miss? Uh, shit. This. This freaking heap of mess. Good God. Oh my god, okay. Uh, just got home from work, but I wanted to pop it. You have a fantastic spooky subathon. I'm gonna head to bed. Bye. Goodbye, cow. Thank you so much for pop popping in. Hold on, chat. Let me get my water. Holy fuck. You guys like the game so far? Do, you, do, do we know who we are playing as or not? I, I, shit. Okay, so. If if Sam is dead, and if if that was Brian, because Brian Brian sent us this note, let's let, let's figure this out, right? Brian sent us this note, said Sam, meet me at Colton Hill, you know where to find me, right? And then we got jump scared by I think Brian, right? So we're either Brian or no, because then Brian left. No, Brian left town. Brian left town because of school, right? So are we just like a police or something? Are we just reading the evidence, the evidence here? October 23rd, 2006. There was a consulting session for Greenheart University student. They called it GUSP. Lol, what the fuck? At the gym today, I've seen its posters all over the school since the day I arrived. Oh, it's that university poster that we saw at the at the at the bathroom. I had nothing better to do, so I decided to give a visit and spend my precious after school time reading brochures. Once again, just like at the library, I was surprised to see Brian there. He was at the early decision program booth. I wanted to talk to him, but instead I ran from my room, jumped to my bed. Out of nowhere, tears started to drop. So Brian, so Brian hasn't left yet. I bet it was because of those stupid hearts. Yep, I saw those hearts again. Now they were on the gym walls too. Whoever drew them must, have very, must be very insecure about the relationship. Insecure like me. Deep down, I know what my heart, my I want no. Deep down, I know I want my own hearts on the walls too. But seeing Brian at the university booth felt like finally getting punched by reality. Oh hi, Broshi. I have no idea what I'll be doing in a couple of years. I thought of staying here at Rosen Peak, but with Brian preparing to leave, there's just no point to it. No Brian, no hearts on the wall. God, it's like my brain's creating a storm. I'm just gonna lie down for a bit. Hopefully I'll wake up next week. Sounds like a Wattpad story. <laughs> My life is nothing but a rep repetition of waking up with nothing to live for. Not even a false hope to look forward to this time. Long time ago when I finally got to accept my feelings for Brian, I thought everything was going to change. But every day was still just like every day. He was still a school star, I was still his friend. 
When you live in Rosen Peak, people expect things to stay the same. If anything changed between us, it could ruin B and everything around him. So that's how it went. Nothing changed when my whole world burned. I kept telling myself maybe after graduation, I'll be able to express my feelings for him. I'll let the fire in my heart eat through my soul and body. I called myself a coward, but I choose to keep what little I had to enjoy. I was a poor kid crawled up in bed. Err. Poor? Do I really deserve that charity title? Am I really the victim of all this? Who is here to judge me anyway? It's all over. Everyone left me. Why do I have to feel like I'm being chased? Like someone's watching me? Like someone's always trying to join? Judge me? How did the invite go? She in or not? This is Stacy. We're texting Stacy? She in or not? Oh, she's coming. Dorks like her can't say no to parties like this. Sweet. Time to give her the drama she wants so bad. Wait. Uh, what the f- Uh, okay, so who- Okay, we text Stacy. Who? I- Okay, November 2nd, 2006. Focus, chat, come on, focus. We're trying to figure out who we are. I know I used half of this diary writing about Stacy being a bitch, but now she's just unstable. I wasn't even past the f first class when I saw her arguing like crazy with Kyle. Stacy and Kyle, like, yeah, Stacy and Kyle are together. Heard her shouting something like, I'm done doing shit for you before storming away. Then she saw me. I was her next target. She strutted towards me and said, this is all your fault. Why don't you go back to fucking San Diego? Whoa, what did I do? She was off before I could even open my mouth. I turned to Kyle for answers, but he was gone too. Come to think of it, I rarely see them hanging out recently. But I didn't know things were this intense. Brian's been acting weird too, though. He hasn't talked to me much recently. He even looks somewhat more upset than usual. I finally tried to ask him what was wrong, but he cut me short asking if I called him li last night again. All I could give was a blank face until Brian said, never mind, and walked away. What was that about? What did he mean by again? Calling him in the middle of the night for no reason is something I've dreamed of, but that doesn't mean I actually did it. What the hell is going on? Okay. So... Okay, so who the hell? Okay, it's because of her. The moment she came into our lives, what little I had to enjoy started to crumble. Only bad changes happened in my life, no matter how hard I try to protect it. A city girl just asking to become an outsider, that was all she was to me. Hell, that was all she was to everyone else, even to be, and then, but then, I saw them talking at the library. I couldn't see clearly, but I could know it's B's face. He was making her smile. It was another smile taunting my feelings for B. No one would ever know what kind of emotions I was hit with at that moment. Are we Stacy? No. No, 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 no. Are we Mike? Huh? Are we Mike? Are we, are we? Mike? Wait, go away. Wait. The change was happening and I didn't like it at all. Stacy didn't like it either. And she could never stand letting an easy social prey slip away from her. Naturally, Stacy took a peek into her diary one day. We took pictures of some of the entries and she sent them to her gang. She wanted everyone to join her twisted and childish game. The diary had no special meaning to me. And not until I read how Brian took that ooh, on a fucking tour of the town. He had no interest in girls whatsoever, and suddenly he's ha he's hanging out with an outsider. That moment, I got tired of doing. I knew I had to do something, so I gave Stacy an idea. It was going to be easy: spike her drink, get her wasted, and humiliate the shit out of the city girl in front of everyone. Only then she would know her place. It could have been so simple. Only if B didn't get in the way. Bummer, was hoping to do nasty stuff to a drunk ass? Oh no, still can't believe Brian had to take her away like that? Well, needy bitches like Sam do make some sorry... Well, needy bitches like Sam do make some people feel sorry. She didn't mention about her dad in her diary, but she has some nasty daddy issues too. Got an idea, how about we show everyone how needy a bitch can be? No way, wait, no fucking way. Hmm, sounds fun, but how? 
leave it to me. Just keep diary once in a while. So wait. All right, I'm confused. Is this phone Stacy? Like, does it show like my Stacy name out there, or are we? What the fuck is happening? Fuck. Hello. What the fuck? Hello. Okay. What the fuck? Oh shit! It's Brian. Is that Sam? Oh shit! <laughs> what are you smiling? What the fuck are you smiling at? Oh oh hello! Hi! Oh hello! Can, can I walk away now? Can I walk away now? Oh hello! Hi! Hi! Okay, we're getting too close now. The note. Yeah, I need to sleep too. Good night, Hikaru. You have a good night stream, okay? Oh, good. Take care now. Fuck yeah, what the fuck? I don't even know how to describe what happened this morning. This is fucked up. My hands are shaking again. It started when I opened my locker and something poured out. For a few seconds, my brain was cut off from whatever was happening. When I finally looked down, there were dozens of pictures scattered on the hallway floor. All of them were pictures of Brian with gibberish written all on them. The whole school was at the hall. They looked at the pictures, then at me, and then at the pictures. Brian was there too. The face he gave me. The face of disgust. He turned away and left. He didn't even say anything. I tried to chase him. Say something. Anything to him. But the floor started spinning. And people started whispering. Like they know what was going on. The air soon began to choke my throat. I swept what was on the floor and ran off to class. Of course, Stacy must have something to do with this. I looked for her, but she was nowhere to be found. The rest of the day was nothing but avoiding eye contact with anyone. I can't sleep. Brian's not answering any of my texts. There's no one to talk to. Shit. B kept saying nothing was going on between them, but I wasn't going to believe everything was just rainbows and butterflies. How could you? In my eyes, Sam was using Brian to fill her head. Empty life. I couldn't let that happen. She wanted drama she didn't deserve. She doesn't deserve shit. She doesn't get to barge in and start stealing the life I've only dreamed of. Stacy kept doing what she does best, digging into other secrets. She sent pictures of the little shit's diary pages to me. That's how I found out about their little trip to Cotton Hill. No way! Dude, it is Mike! What the fuck? Oh, take care, Jackie. Bye-bye. Have a good night's sleep or a good rest of your... Bro, we're fucking Mike. We're Mike. It was our hideout since first year of high school and our presence turned out into fucking nothing. How could B do this to us? Fuck is Mike? It, isn't it not? Wait, hold on. Who is Stacy with? Was Stacy with Mike? Mike's... M okay, so... There's, okay, there's, there's, okay, so there's Sam, right? There's Brian, okay? Then there's the other two, the uh, the bitch named Stacy, right? Who's like the go gossipy, you know, uh, wh whatever the fuck. And then there's Mike, right? Uh, it's, uh, it's the guy's name. Am I wrong? The only way to break them apart was to show Brian what a creep she was. Michael? Yeah, Michael. I kept reading the disgusting words she wrote on her diary. Oh, they feel like a barf. At the same time, I felt something, a reminder of how I felt when I fell for me. How it felt so wrong and terribly wrong. Screaming into my pillow never helped with making the feelings go away. Find the diary yet? I send that? Okay. Babe, I think you're taking this too seriously. Did you find it or not? Oh shit. I think she knows I'm sticking into her room. I can't find it anywhere. Babe, don't you think you're too obsessed with breaking them up? You're giving up now? Forget it. Oh, what the hell? Please, babe, maybe Brian doesn't even like the girl? I said forget it. I'm not doing it. I'm so tired. Okay. I'm losing brain cells. You were calling him Mike for short. Yeah, Mike. M well, Michael, Mike. Yeah, I, I couldn't remember the, if it was Mike or Michael. November 7th, 2006. The school counselor called me today. 
Mr. Ferns asked me if the true rumors that I've been leaving heart drawings all over the school rumors that I've been asked stalking Brian at this point the whole school must be out of its mind I don't even know the letters in the fucking heart spelled S and B and what just because the initials are S and B suddenly every name that starts with them are either Sam or Brian and guess what even crazier words are on the streets Sam Holt the daughter of a child molester craves forbidden love how on earth did Stacy find out about dad? Why would she do so much to fuck up my life? And where the fuck is she? You know what? I'm tired. I'm tired of waiting for Brian to listen to me. I'm tired of looking for words that describe this fucked up situation. I can't believe I have to go through this again. So far from home and so soon. Brian, please, please say something. Ooh, Brenda Jones. Oh my God, how could Sam Holt not kill her? My dad went on the news for touching teenage girls. That's bye bye world for me. Oh no, not cyberbullying. Then I remembered she wrote something about her dad. Must have had s something to do with her existence in life. I started digging. I wasn't even a challenge. Keith Holt arrested for sexually assaulting a teenager. It was beautiful. I found the perfect ending. All I had to do was fill the rest of the story. Sam Holt calls Brian from a payphone in the middle of the night. Silence into his voice. Ugh. Sam Holt takes Brian's picture and keeps him hidden. Oh, Sam Holt draws hearts all over the school. There's no Brian, it's hers. Oh, what the fuck? A needy, seedy girl with serious issues. She was just a disaster waiting to happen. No one, even Brian, would think otherwise. I made all the preparations while Stacy prepped the room as I created. It was never easy. I once almost got caught taking a picture of Brian using the restroom, but I kept going. Every picture I took was a love confession I could never make. Every heart I drew was my sacrifice for him. And in the end, I got what I wanted. Enough suspicion. Oh, piled up on Sam. I stuffed all the pictures I took into her locker. It was a happy coincidence that B was there to see the spectacular unfold when it happened. It was over. Things were about to turn back to normal. And then Stacy's drama filled head exploded. What? The fuck? What? Ooh, I oh say Les, I know what this class is for then. Oh my god! City girl, city girl. Oh fuck no! Oh fuck, that's so much reading, bro. The drawings, yeah, no fuck. Okay. Okay. Can run forever. Oh my god, what the fuck? That's so long, bro. Okay. How close can I get? Oh no, she has to. No, I, she can't look at me like that. Come on. Oh, JK, you're gonna die. What the fuck is this? I'm done watching you get away with the shit you've done to me. Do you think I wouldn't find out that you've been using me to break Sam and Brian apart so you can f have some fun with her? I had my share of fun when I told Brian what you've been doing. You should have seen the face he made when I got to the part of you drawing. Those R-word hearts all over school. Hope you're enjoying your happy life now that there's no Brian again your way. Oh, by the way, I saw you staring at that college poster. What? Did you like the girl in the poster too? Is it why you tore her face off? Help. Don't bother calling me. Stacy. Oh, shit. Turns have tabled. <laughs> wow, the turns have tabled. Oh, so this was all like my bullshit. Whoa.
Yo, Solaris. Thank you so much for the 20 biddies, bro. Please, man. Stacy got it all wrong. It's just a misunderstanding. I was just trying to prevent Sam from getting into your head. Please, B. Don't do this. Text me back, please. The day Stacy told Brian was the last day he talked to so angry at me he would never understand what i did for him typical so fucking typical again i was left alone to suffer this time someone had to pay for it it head outs i brian it's brian Oh, hello. Okay. Fuck now. Wait. No. No. Oh, fuck that. Oh, fuck, bro. Oh, no way. No. Oh, my. Can way. Okay. Oh, hello. And and you are? Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Hi. Hi, okay. I'm going to walk this way now. Okay. It's so fine. Oh, you're there too. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, my God. Fuck. I'm scared. I'm not scared. I'm scared. I'm not scared. Is it Stacy's boyfriend? Yeah. Oh, shit. Hello. Hi. Okay. I'm going to back away now. Back away now. Back away. Backing away. Backing away. Backing away. Back it away, back it away, back it away, back it away, back it away. Don't hide, hide, hide. Oh, 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 Someone, Kyle? No, it wasn't Mike, it was Kyle. It was Kyle. No way. <laughs> what? I was Kyle. I, what the fuck? It's in her bag, must get rid of it? What the fuck? No. Oh shit, that bag all the way up there. Fuck. Fuck. How the hell do I reach it? Oh, I thought Mike was Kyle. Oops, I knew I mixed some names up. Wait, then who's. Wait, who the fuck is Mike? Kyle, yeah. What the fuck? Wait. Oh, use this stick. Ha, dumb it. Bro, Michael is the guy in the story remember? Oh, that's right. Bro, B. Oh my god, cuz I oh, no. She's still alive. She was trying to reach her hand. Oh my god. What am I supposed to do with this? Oh my god. God, it, that was, oh, it's because B, I was telling you about Michael and that shit got into my head. Oh my God. It was fucking Kyle. Now, Kyle was the one that sent the note. It's Sam's diary. Is Brian praying for me? Are you going to saw Brian in the afternoon? Like the weird though, turn away and left him. Brian, please say something. Sam, Sam liked Brian. 
So we weren't saying what? What the fuck? Michael's the Yandere? No, what the fuck am I saying? Kyle's the Yandere? To... I don't. Oh, this way. Kyle on some shit. Kyle, Kyle was the yandere. So Kyle liked. Kyle liked Brian. But wasn't Kyle with Stacy though? Oh. Out of the clot. Oh. Kyle ha Kyle has feelings for Brian. Oh my god. Kyle liked Brian. Cover up. Yeah. It was an accident. I never meant to kill her. Did? Did I? That's what I'm saying. What up, Zoe? Wanna say hello? Hey. But does it matter now? Did any of what I did matter? I left the team soon after what happened at Colton. After that, the school. From what I've heard, Brian easily got accepted to the university. Left town right after graduation. The fact that he's still a star athlete with notable school record worked like a charm. He's been growing the idea of leaving Rose and Peak since his mom died. Living alone with his obnoxious dad didn't help much with his being attached to his town. Yep. He never got to talk about seriously, but Brian didn't really want to leave. No. I'm I'm filling in words, hello? We never got to talk about it seriously. Brian didn't really want to. But every time he hinted about leaving, I tried so hard to ignore what it meant for me. Even those college posters all over the school were laughing at me. They were making fun of the impending doom. They were all saying, ha ha, see, you're gonna die alone here. That's what the smiling's for. Maybe I knew. I knew that B took an interest in Sam because she was just a clueless new girl who was lonely enough to do anything for any guy who was nice to her. But jealousy is a strong creature. It quickly devoured my mind. Soon, anger took control of me. Well, it's too late to freaking take that back now. It's been done, isn't it? I just needed someone to be mad at other than Brian. Even after he left me, anger stayed. It devoured me whole. And again, it's time to wake up. But wake up for what? To be greeted by the fact that I must start running around in circles? That I must stick needles into my body so I can forget my past for a few fucking minutes? It's just like the story Miss Lasley once told us about. The shortest horror story in the world. The last man on earth heard a knock on the door. I'm alone in my room. I'm alone in this world. There's someone knocking on the door. I don't know who it is, but I keep the door locked. No one comes in. It's out. I'm so tired. I just want it to end. Let's just wake up. Let's just open the door. I don't care who or what's waiting for me. Oh no. But I've been what? But what? What about my diary? The one I've been keeping to remind myself how I am the victim of everything that's happened. What? But what about my diary? The one I've been keeping to remind myself how I am the victim of everything that's happened? Oh, hell no. I don't know what I would do without it. What will keep me from going insane? So here comes the big question. Should I keep it? What the fuck? Victim my ass. That's what I'm saying. Yo, what up, Bami? Fuck no. Put that shit back. Oh, bro. Face the consequences of your actions. You fucked up. Time to admit. I've been keeping a memory of lies. I'm the only one to blame for the shit I had to deal with. It's about time I burned it. But what after that? I could open the door out of here. Face whatever's waiting for me. Yeah, like freaking jail or prison. Or I could just stay with the fire and let go. Whatever the choice, it's time to say goodbye. I could face the door out of here, face whatever is waiting for me, or just, or I could just stay with the fire and let go. Oh. 
Are he crazy? The door? I think we got the door, right? Oh? Oh? Do. Toy said it's time to say goodbye. I need to write again. Signature. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Puta madre, man. How's the game? Crazy. Oh shit. Sam. Oh fuck. Sleeping. Okay. Oh. Game by Seyun Choi. Thanks to all my friends and their support. Shout out to the Unreal Engine Nessie Blender. Wow, chat. Did it. We did it. We beat the game. Yo. What a game. Damn. What a game. Holy shit. A start a spooky sub I thought. Oh hell yeah, for sure. Oh man. Love me a good psychological horror. Oh my god. God, that shit made my brain hurt. That's so crazy. I thought, wow, oh shit. Let, let, let's, shit, chat, okay. It went from Sam to Brian to Kyle. Yeah, cause shit, it sounded like, okay. So it basically talked about, you know, a new girl coming in, right? Sam, that's the, that's the person that came in, right? And then got the note, right? Saying, okay, Brian here, I want you to meet me at this hill. So I thought we were Brian and we were in like Sam's room, right? And then freaking, um, turns out Brian's not even there. He, he went to, he went to college now or he's, yeah, he's in a college football team and uh, freaking, I thought it was Michael, but shit, that was from the story that Sam read about. I, I, I thought it was the, I knew it was Stacy's boyfriend, but I forgot the name. That, that 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 for sure is true um but wow holy shit it was kyle and you know and you know they did a lot of symbolism here they did a lot of symbolism with like the poster and like how like that relates with the smile and how all of them were just faces you know just because they they described a lot about staring like oh they were staring at me weird oh they looked at me funny you know and they really did emphasize that they had a lot of eye images a lot of descriptive looking images forcing you to take in that thematic of people looking at you in a way um but fuck man and then of course you know that kyle himself you know being uh, a person that didn't come out of the closet yet and hence hence why he left the closet he left the closet when, when we got at the end there he he left the closet and wow crazy crazy symbolism i love i love it when we can get to interpret that oh shit uh if you like the video like and subscribe thank you guys so much for coming to my youtube video let's go uh shit bye chat <laughs> all right I'll, I'll edit that shit until i get something you know bye youtube bye 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 bye